to hell. I've been baptized. I went down in the water. I put the old men down. I am a new creature now. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things have become new. You can't tell me that you've been changed. And you still got that same conversation. That same hatred. That same bitterness. Anything that did emerge. If you don't believe it, let me give you a scenario. Have you ever put any dirty clothes in the wash machine? They went in dirty. But after the cycle, after the riches, after the ringing, after the turning, all the dirt went out of the clothes. That's what happens when you get in the Lord. He takes a dirty soul, rings us. Say, I'm about to transform. I'm about to transfer. 
with my transformation. I feel like preaching here. God will never give you a transform without transformation. Get it, man, in new Christ. It's a new creature. You got to have transformation. You got to have confirmation for your transportation. I don't need you to tell me I'm about to change. I already got my confirmation on the road of the mountain. You're like preaching here. The soul is now in conference with God. Turn to somebody and say, you better get in conference with God. Get out of confrontation with people and get in comfort with God. And your neighbor say, get out of confrontation with God and get in conference with God. So Paul Get up out of Jerusalem. Go ahead, woman of God. What did he say? Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, they know that I am prison and be in every synagogue of them that believed on me. Stay right there. Paul said they know what I was. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all got mad at me last Sunday. But I'm going to say it again. You was hell before God saved you. You was a mess. Because the Bible said, we all are ex. Oh, don't y'all mess with me now. Mm -hmm. It's a bad thing when you act like your clothes ain't never stuck. Mm -hmm. Can't use somebody who's afraid to say, I used to be. Let me help some of y'all. I used to be. Oh, yeah. You don't know why I can know about you. You don't know why I can understand you. Because I used to be. Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to be a liar. Ooh, I Talking to the boy. 
boyfriend, talking to the girlfriend, girlfriend, boys liking boys, women liking women, I'm like preaching here, oh yeah, the church shouldn't be that way, the club should still have women, women hoochie mama, Come on now, hallelujah. What do you tell him? And he said, I will depart from 
I'm going to send you somewhere. Look at somebody and say, God is about to send you somewhere that somebody wants to hear you. You see, the problem is Christian folks think they're too good to hear the word of God. I know some of you sit back there. I know what the scriptures say. Love thy neighbor. What good is you know something if you ain't gonna do it? You might as well get your nasty self up, your funky attitude, and go back to the club. Either you're hot or you're cold. If you're lukewarm, you know why the church can't grow since tomorrow? You got too many warm people in here. Warm. People say something to you. Warm. People look at you funny. Warm. You better believe when I was hot. Let me tell you what I was when I was hot. When I was hot, you look at me strange. I would knock you out in a hot minute. Oh, oh, oh. But now, I'm a new creature. See, I know I ain't lukewarm. Because, brother, do what I got saved. Before I got saved, I wasn't one of them type of person. Wasn't afraid to tell you what's on my mind. You talk about my mama, I talk about your mama. Talk about my kids. I talk about your kids. You say my hair's ugly. I say your hair's ugly. But now you can talk about my. I know y'all talked about my hair, but thank God the money I save helps me and Sister Terrell to ride in the 300. I'm not worried about how I used to look because if I go to the barber shop, Henry, he might put me back in my old mind frame. I'm not trying to get no way. Cause when I had ways, I had.
I'm not playing with God. Yeah. I'm still slipping. I'm still dipping. I still got lust in my heart. I'm not gonna come in that church and pray, brother. I had a brother, brother Franklin, that worked in a sea cat. And I said to him, Won't you come visit my church? This was his response, sister Well.
中了谁鬼？这我是 NBA 的欧文。So he's been prejudiced from day one. Yeah. Oh. Somebody fooled around and take your call in conversation. God is about to take your conversation. Some of you got double tongues. Oh, I love the bishop. But you get out in the car. Oh, he holds church too long. Telling me to get off the email. Get off the internet. I'm going to stay on my space. Go ahead with your Frankenstein test. When you lose your marriage behind you, when you lose your anointing, don't come down and ask for my all. Because my all in 2014 is going to be for people that really want God to do something for them. Look at somebody and say, recess is over with. Coming up here and buying all. Knowing your head. And you still doing the same thing. Over and over again. Look at somebody and say, if you've been baptized, Like it. If you've been born again, act like it. Oh, y'all looking at me strange. So God says to Paul, I'm sending you to the Gentiles. If you read the story, they didn't like Paul. They didn't like Paul. The Jews didn't like Paul because Paul is about to reveal them for who they really are. Christian people, religious people, don't like Christian people because religious people have formality for Sunday. Christian people live it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Religious people dress up for Sunday. Christian people. Live say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Hold me back for Sunday. So, so I'm sending you to the Gentiles, but so has a path that people can identify. That's why I say too many of us are afraid to tell people about our past because we are ashamed of where we come from. But I stop to tell you, I'm not ashamed to tell you about my past because my past is over. I'm not going back there again. My past is over and you can't hold it. Church is present. 
it again. Watch this. Let a prostitute walk in here right now. Let a pretty girl walk in here right now. With a short skirt on. Mm -hmm. Let her walk in here. With a hair looking good. Let her walk in here right now.
gonna have no drinking in my house. I ain't gonna have no drugs in my house. And you forgot you was that same person laying in the bed of drugs. But Jesus didn't give up on you. I'm gonna preach my message. Sister School, this was my message. They took Paul and they wrapped him up, chained him up. And get ready to take them in to be persecuted. Paul told the people, y'all are breaking the law. You can't. Tie up us Roman citizens. Even though you're mad at me, you don't have the right to put me in handcuffs before judging me. I want to tell you, you ain't got the right to talk about a sinner before you know him. You ain't got a right to talk about somebody before you know him. Who made you a judge? Who made you a judge? Paul said, I'm going to reverse the curse. And this was about to happen. The Gentile is getting ready to reverse the curse on some of y'all. You come out, won't I come to church? Why should I come to church? When I see you going to church, and you still doing the same thing you was doing. Paul says to him, I'm going to reverse the curse. They got him chained up. They got him locked up. Paul turns to somebody and says, Y'all know y'all ain't right. I know the law. I know what the law says. You can't judge me before knowing me. And I want to tell you, some of the sinners are looking at y'all. Who are you to talk about me? You ain't always been saved. You ain't always been cleaned up. You ain't always had your right mind. I knew you when you was fucking bussy. I knew you was cussing my head. I knew you every time you opened your mouth, a cuss word came out of your mouth. And now all of a sudden you got the audacity to try to chain me up. The sinner man is about to put the chain back on some of the saints and say to them, before you take me before the judge, let me take you before the judge. Next time you try to tell me to clean myself up, look at somebody say, sweet. Come around your front door Before you try to sweep around my house. I feel like preaching down I know I wasn't going to get a lot of amen But I'm going to preach anyhow Paul says Do what he says, ship me Y'all got the audacity To chain me up Before giving me a fair trial one of the worst person you can deal with is religious people. They always trying to chain you up before giving you a foul trial. I got news for you. Paul allowed them to chain him up because Paul thought it was God's will for him to be in that situation. But this is my message today. Don't let don't let nobody do you wrong when you know you right. That's what I want to preach about for a few minutes. Don't let nobody do you wrong when you know you right. Let me break it down to your turn. Don't be afraid to tell somebody they wrong when you know you right. I feel like preaching here. Mm-hmm. So Paul said, I got to reverse the law. Paul, Sister Terrell, this is what he does. He said, I'm going to give y'all a chance to get yourself out of trouble. You better take these chains off of me because I am a Roman citizen. I was born a Jew. I was raised a Jew. I'm educated. I know the scripture. That's what the sinner said to you. How you gonna come tell me? God is through with me. When the Bible says, please be patient with me. God is not through with me yet. When God get through with me, I shall come through as people go. 
Apostle Paul said, you people trying to make the law only fit when it's good for you. You know some people like that. They always want to use the scripture on you when it's benefiting them. But when you turn around and say, wait a minute, why are you pointing one finger? All right. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody that's why the Bible is just not that you may not be judged, you may not be smoking crack, but you got a big mouth, shut your big mouth, you gospering, bringing skins up among the body, you may not be a drunker, but you a liar, lying is sin. Yeah. You may not be like you talk about. I don't Thank go to the club no more. Get your nasty, funky hands off the internet and put right e hell about your church member. Look at somebody saying you're still nasty. But you're nasty, sir. Sit in the choir singing songs of Zion. But you got the biggest mouth there is in the South. Look at somebody to your big mouth, South Self. Oh God, send you back to the North or the South can grow. Like the reason why the South can't grow. We got too many big mouth North people here. Let the South get out of the North. Go to the South where somebody want to receive you. Because these South folks, I'm going to talk about y'all. I'm from Kansas City. Show me state. You folks are hard down South. Y'all easily get mad. Woo, God, Lord, get mad. Where I'm from in Kansas City, we get it over real quick. Meet me at 63rd and Swoop Park. Can't hold this no more. We take off our shoes real quick. We roll up our sleeves real quick. I'm not going to be in the church playing church. Act like I like you when I really don't like you. Let's just get it over with. Let's duke it out so we can love each other. But you people in the South, you will put on a persona. I love you, come on. Right now. Oh, Lord, you. Woo! You're like a cowboy on a, on a horse. The bucket, you're like a ride of a rodeo. Oh God, you know what I'm talking about. South people are dirty, 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 south, dirty, 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 be with some people that say, Terrell, let me be real with you. I don't like your shoes. I don't like your tie. Either your shirt. Now I know what you don't like. And I can pray that God will give you the do like. Because you don't like my shoes. Don't mean I'm going to stop wearing Because you didn't give me these shoes. You didn't give me this anointing. You ain't been through what I've been through to get these shoes. So I'm going to wear them until you like them. I'm going to wear them until you begin to say, I don't have no other choice but to like them shoes. He wear them on Monday. Wear them on Tuesday. Wear them on Wednesday. Why he don't take them off? Because they're my favorite shoes. Do I got any Christian people? I'm going to take you to court. And they're going to find out. You illegally changed me up. This is about to happen with some God's people. You better. Tell that person you lied on. You better tell that person. I was mad. When I said that about the pastor, I was upset when I said that about the pastor. I was confused when I said that was a. I was all in my flesh when I said that about the pastor. For the Bible said, touch. Touch it all. You think you can just touch it all? 
touch on my white suit. You think you can just touch on me? And your dirty hands won't yeah. see. When I was dirty, you could touch on me. When I was nasty, you could touch on me. Because nobody could see that because I was dirty. But now since I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb, when you touch on me, your handprint stays on me. Look at somebody say, that's the law. Y'all don't, y'all better understand the law. You can't run the red light. They got cameras up there now. The police don't have to chase you no more. They got cameras that read your license plate and send you a ticket. And I dare you try to deny it because they're going to trace you by your ID. You ain't going to be able to deny you was that you lied, you lied, you lied, you lied, you was a lie. And I'm about to trace the email back to your email address. And I'm going to pull up your account. And I'm going to ask you, is this your email address? Your boss man is about to trace your little dirty handwork. You at your job, sexting and texting. God told me to tell you that it's been ready to to be a trace going on. He's getting ready to trace your mess back to you. And then you're going to have to explain how can you be a Christian with this kind of mess on your profile. How can you say you're married and you got a mystery? Ooh, somebody say, that's stink. Yeah, that's stink. That you are Christian and your name is a mess. Instead of you saying, I don't talk that way no more, you all out of the parking lot. You, you, you heard that too? <laughs> you chain that brother up instead of going and seeing about him. You judge that brother and sister yes. by your own law. And that's why the Bible says your brother and sister is overtaking right. that law. Right. Okay. Unless you yourself. Now what happened when you fall? Mm-hmm. What happened when you fall? What right. happened when your name All get right. caught up in scandal? Yeah. Yeah. What happened then, Mr. West, when you are now the victimized? The All one right. that is, did something that you had no business doing, mm-hmm. and now you want people to have mercy on you. The law is there to protect us from doing what we want to do. You can't just go around and do what you want to do and think there is no conquer. All right. Amen. Everything you say and do has consequences. Yes, it does. Amen. That's why the law protects not only us, but it protects the people that it, it, it's like you, that then it's not in God. Amen. You can go before the court and fight your case. You don't know why I did what I did. You don't know why I went through what I went through. Was you there? You don't know the reason why I'm suicide. Or you judge me. Or you didn't put me up there. Please have the compassion. So I'll reverse. He said, now wait a minute. Y'all not just going to do this to me. I was talking to my boss on, on the other day. And I've been quiet for 27 years on my job. I've been quiet. Then everybody else get promoted. The Lord spoke in my spirit the other day. He said, you know you've been overlooked wrong. You need to, you need to, you need to bring that out and bring it to their attention. Because if you don't, they would never know your true feelings or how you feel about yourself. People would never know what you're going through unless you open up and tell them. 
That's even in marriage or relationship. If somebody did something to you, the Bible says go to them. Don't assume that they know you hurt. Don't assume that. Amen. Amen. Don't assume that. Amen. So, in, in reality, Paul said, y'all ain't going to just hurt me like this now. Now, if I was wrong, I can, I can take my persecution, but prosecution, you better make sure you're doing it right. I want to say that. Prosecution. If you're being prosecuted, you make sure you're being prosecuted right. Even if being prosecuted, you've got to stand your rights, man. You're going to do something to me. Make sure you don't just, you ain't going to run over because I'm a Christian. You're going to take my weakness. I'm kind of that I'm weak. I'm not that weak. You just ain't going to run over me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he stopped and he said, wait a minute. Y'all uh, call yourself law buyers and now y'all breaking the law. Christian people are the worst ones. We'll be the first to throw a scripture at somebody, but when you come back to us, we don't want to deal with it. Let's say amen. Amen. I tried to take y'all loose down, y'all didn't want that. All right. I maybe just kill myself trying to teach you. <laughs> I teach you all about five minutes. Thank you. Somebody's going to like that. I did that for my dad. I can't see it for you. Even though I don't know how to teach that, that's the truth of my life. Somebody's going to like that. You know, if I had some church folks, some of y'all were mad. I don't think you made that. If I was in a real good Pentecost church, all right. that would have went on up there with a car. Right, 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 right. right. Or because I said something that hurt y'all. Because y'all know y'all mess it. You couldn't jump up and shout because you're messing with heaven. In heaven, you can't say anything. Amen. Amen. When you know you're right, don't be afraid to tell somebody they're wrong. And I said to him, he was standing there, and I said, I have a thought, I have a plan for your life. And that plan is good, and I, now I want y'all to understand as we close out the 22nd chapter, man. There gonna come a time in your Christian walk, and I can say this as a pastor: you're not gonna run over me. I let people run over me for 20 years, and I can say that I let people literally run over me. The time that God been told me, you need to tell me really about what you feel about, but you gotta go and go again. They think it's okay. Let me ask, let me just get it off my chest. How many of you got a job? Amen. What time did job start? What time do you go to work in the morning? Right We're up. talking law right now. Don't give me that. That's law. Let's talk law. When they, when they give you a job, what time do you got to be at your job? Eight. Seven. Seven, six, seven. I got to be that seven. That's a law. Yes. That's the reason why that's a law. Because if everybody don't abide by the law, people will show up at 820, 845, and somebody will show up on time and look at that person and say, How do they get paid the same day? How do they get the same right day? They don't even abide by the law. Amen. What do you think that stop sign on the highway for? Yeah. For all of us to abide by. That's right. Oh, me and the Lord, me and the Lord. We'll get the Lord out the car one day. The Lord ain't that car. That's you. <laughs> get up on time, you don't have to speed the church. Put a line on the law. See, the law ain't bad. No, it's not. No, it's not. When you got married, you got married on law. Yeah, amen. Are we in marriage time. You're going to love me. I'm going to love you. We're going to submit to one another in the fear of the Lord. You the head of the house. Sign right here. Law. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that person can take you to court? That's right. Yes, yes. No, I'm here with this woman right here because she don't know how to submit. We married in the Christian days of the Lord. I got the bishop here with me who said I was, we went to counseling and she ain't submit to the time I said I do. I want a divorce. Why? She ain't submit. You can't divorce me. You can't disrespect me and suspect me to love you, woman. As Christ loved the church. You can't disrespect God and expect God to bless you. People are gone. Amen. That's right. That's all. Yes, sir. 
God told me earlier this morning, he said, tell the people. He whooped me, and I apologize. I'll be the first to say, some of you are in the position you are because I didn't correct you when you were wrong. I let you guys away with it. I'm sorry. I, apologize. I was afraid. And you were wrong because I didn't want to leave it. And God began to reveal to me your promotion has been locked because you didn't do my house right to it. And he was afraid to say when he was right wrong. He said, and, and, and I said, God, why? He said, let me tell you something. He said, ain't nothing wrong with being passionate, but there is a purpose in my life. Thank you, Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, I really think that we have a good church here. I really believe we do. We have a good people in corporate. But when people start rejecting you because you're trying to help them, it put walls up. That's why God told him, he said, I need you to get away from these people because they're going to constantly reject me. And what rejection does, it brings hurt. Anybody ever been rejected? Come on, you got to talk to me. Just give me a few minutes. What it does to be rejected. You trying, you reaching out, people constantly putting their hand in your face. And mm. We human, we all human, is that right? Y'all yeah. love me, y'all talking back to me? Amen. Spirit of rejection. Yeah. Mm. Nobody want to be rejected. We learned that Jesus said, Father, he had, to, he had to deny himself going to the cross. Like, man, wow. These people doing what they want to do, I'm coming to die for him, and they constantly not understanding me. Jesus had to fight with that flesh. Watch this. The minute I stood there, she made and told him out of my mouth what my plans were. He turned to me and said, Girl, what are you waiting on? I was the one holding me back. You were the biggest enemy. Because out of your mouth is life and death. I give you become well. You know how some of you still broke? Because you talk broke. Amen. Y'all love pastors? I want you to start speaking out of your mouth. I don't care if you broke right now. I want you to start saying, I have the right to be blessed. You know what the word of God says? He said, I, he said, I, I come to you may have life, life more abundant. Amen. The Satan didn't say that. Satan come to rob him. God come to do right. it. Satan come to take it. That's right. Many of us in this room right now know that the enemy has stole some things from us. Stole it. Yes. But we allowed him to steal it. That's stuff. right. <laughs> we didn't stand up for the Bible says the kingdom of God what? Suffer violence. We always suffer violence because we're part of the kingdom. The minute I said that. I never seen a look on my leader's face when I seen that day. He was looking at me like, I've been waiting on you. But this year I said to myself, I said this year, I'm going to write my destiny. I began to start thinking that way, Sister Marshall. I said, I'm not going to let nobody, that's why I'm trying to do what I got to do. I'm constantly out here going for the house of God. I'm trying to do everything God. So I said, don't lose your focus to it. Don't let people cause you to start disrespecting me. Because see, right. other people will make you start doing wrong with God. Right. Yeah. And your blessing don't come from people. Your blessing come from God. Right. Right. Are y'all with me? Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Some of you right now chained up. The people have changed you up because of what they said. And you know it's not right. 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 You know it's not right. right. And you're going you're gonna to live in that life? Yeah. You let the people hang it over your head? And now you're going to be walking out doing other people wrong. Because you do know when you mad, you, you treat other people. You do yeah. know when you mess up, you mess up other people. You do know that. Right. Right. Yeah. Amen. You do know when you go to your job messed up. You mess up. Do you know you put one bad apple in the in the in the in the do me a favor. Buy an apple, buy an apple, 
put it with the other apples and go back for the week is over and do all the rest of my life. It's an overflow. That right one has an odor, has a, it's dead, it has no life. So it spills on everybody else. But Paul said, I refuse to let y'all, this justice cause me to act out. But I'm going to use the law. And what I want to leave with you, you can go to that person and say, you want me. You want me. I, one of the things me and my wife discovered in marriage counseling is you, are you willing to admit when you're wrong. You know what tears up a home? You know what tears up any relationship? Say that again, you may cry. I don't like people on me when they're wrong. I always, sometimes you say, you know what? Say, I said, that was really silly. That was really silly what I said. Do you know that person would love you more because you admit it and you're healing them? You're saying, because I thought I was just tripping. No, I, that was silly. I shouldn't have said that. No, I didn't. I just, that was silly. When I got in the car, Lord said, you know, you love me. You should have got your teeth. And that's real talk to you. Some of y'all get mad when I say that. But you you pick up on a person, you don't know what's frame of mind that person is. You women know how to hit too. You ain't, I ain't only talking about men. See, some of y'all so practice. Every time I talk about it, y'all think I'm talking about men. Some of you women know how to swing your little nasty hand too. You say amen. amen. With them swing and stuff. You know how to swing. Amen. Look at me get me mad this morning. Like like you ain't never swung on a bro. Come on, I say that. Some of you just, you need to go home money. And you did not some brothers teeth out of his mouth. You're lucky you still stand because I'm telling right. you, you're the real man. You hit a real woman, she'll put a steak knife in you too. I'm just talking real talk. I ain't trying to hit on my wife. I ain't married her to hit on her. God said, Pre daughter, you don't get in the mirror, beat yourself up. You don't get in the mirror, start punching yourself in the mirror. Now preach now. So why you gonna peek, peek, and sister, you don't get up in the morning and just slap yourself. So why you gonna slap that man? First thing I do, the first law that I wanted to buy by when I got saved is to treat others the way you want to be treated. But that state of mind, that's the first thing to state in my mind. 